now that we understand the angle of dip and angle of dip and the declination we can do we can do a lot of things with it right so again i bring this ball back okay now what happens suppose at a point i am able to measure i am able to measure my be and this is my northern hemisphere so maybe it will be it will be sort of dipping like that okay it is sort of dipping like this making some angle some angle some angle here and what do we call this angle if you, if you see you see it like that this angle will be called i this is the angle of dip this is how your horizontally hinged hinged magnetic compass dips or rises right so it is dipping in the northern hemisphere if it would have been here somewhere then it will be going up right so it is dipping it's making an angle i now you understand this is your suppose this pen represents your magnetic field be earth's magnetic field that's why we call it be be earth magnetic field of earth so if be is the earth's magnetic field is the earth's magnetic field then what happens then be cos i will be this component the horizontal component is it not it is it is like this okay it's like this and and this is the horizontal this makes an angle i with this so so if i if i take this this is be this is be this is be so be cos i is is this and what is this this is be sin i do we understand that the vertical the, this is a vector this angle is i i resolve it this component is be cos i and the vertical component is be sin i okay so i call i call the horizontal component as 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 h e and the vertical as z e okay so so if h e and z e are horizontal and vertical components components of the magnetic field if he and ze are horizontal and vertical components of the magnetic field then we have just seen that he or or i say ze is equal to be sin i and he is equal to be cos i do we see that now if i divide them that is ze upon he that becomes be sin i upon be cos i so that gives me tan i so tan i is ze upon he correct so ze upon he is my tan i okay we understand that do we get that the same thing will be applicable even if the needle was 
tilting upwards. We understand? Even if the needle was tilting upwards, the same formula would have been in place. Correct? Okay.